everyone, welcome to William Buck Investment Series number two, Sustainable Investing. I'm Adrian Frinsdorf, Director at William Buck, and today I'm in interviewing Nanook Asset Management's CIO, Tom King. Thanks for having me on. Tom, some of our audience would recognise you as a gold medalist at the 2000 Olympics. Can you let us know how you went from gold medal winning Olympian to leading a fund focusing on sustainable investment theme? It was a long journey for me. I um, competed back in the 1996 and 2000 Olympics. And um, during that time, I was studying. I did an engineering degree um, at Melbourne University. And I had always intended to retire from sport after the Sydney Games. And that's what I did. And I went straight into an engineering-related industrial consulting role, working with large manufacturing businesses doing performance improvement work. Um, which was a very sort of interesting eye-opening start to my career uh, and gave me, uh, I guess, a, an understanding of the extent to which you could improve the world by doing things better. Uh, but consulting to me didn't seem to be the um, optimal way to go about doing that. Firstly, it's very difficult to change the world as a consultant. And secondly, you're something like three orders of magnitude away from, you know, participating in the value that you create through doing it and so I quickly moved on from that with a plan to get into investment management in a position where I could um, you know help to make the world a better place and hopefully profit from doing that as well and that took me you know on what's now a 20 year journey through equity funds management and then roles in investment banking and banking and private equity before getting involved with setting up our current business, which is um, an asset management business specifically focused on investing in um, listed equities. Uh, in our case at the moment, that's outside of Australia, um, related directly to um, environmental sustainability and resource efficiency. Is that question of sustainability that um, a lot of our audience is probably a little bit new to it. So can you provide some examples of what a sustainable investment actually is? Well, that means different things to different people. I mean, in a general sense, sustainability is about achieving a um, state of sort of harmony between environmental, social and sort of economic um, uh, needs um, in the future. And, and in a broad sense, that's how we think about where the world needs to get to. Uh, and that concept can be applied holistically, thinking about how the global economy has got to change. And it can be applied at a much more local level, at, at a company level, in terms of thinking about what is a sustainable business activity. Uh, because when we invest, we're obviously investing in things that we hope have long-term value uh, in their operations. And that's an important factor. Um, the way we think about it as a firm is um, the sort of implications of sustainability are, are very significant globally. That, um, the global economy needs to change uh, massively over the coming decades to become more sustainable. It, it will inevitably have to do that because there are a set of um, environmental issues and resource constraints out there that are very evident today. Um, and we can't continue to have population growth and rising consumption uh, around the world in the face of those things without something changing. And so our, our approach to sustainability is based around a belief that we're going to see the global economy become more sustainable. As we do that, you're going to see um, particular parts of the economy benefit from that and other parts suffer from that transition. And we think the part of the, the parts of the economy that are gonna benefit are going to be highly prospective areas for investment and particularly for actively managed investment um, because those areas will not only grow over time um, but the way in which they're changing is quite complex and um, influenced by things like government policy and uh, changing technology and changing shifts in, in industry that if we can develop a good understanding of, have some chance of capitalising on in our investment decision making. When I speak to clients about, ethical in, about sustainability investing, they quite often term it as ethical investing, but I think it's a bit different. Can you explain some of those differences? Sure, and I, and I think it's sort of helpful to tie ESG into that as well. So um, th there's a, um, 
well, there's been a lot of confusion historically about what's socially responsible, what's sustainable, what's ESG, what's ethical, you know, what, what all these different things mean. Um, it's becoming clearer over time that there's a broad sort of overarching area of what we'd call responsible investment. And there are several different approaches to responsible investment that seek to deliver you know, different combinations of financial outcomes and, and non-financial outcomes. And they're not necessarily mutually exclusive, um, but in a colloquial sort of manner of speaking, ethical investment is about not investing in companies doing bad things. Um, and sustainable investing is about investing in companies that are doing things that are good for the world. And ESG investing or ESG integration is about um, investing in um, companies whose ES and G practices, whose who, who governance um, conforms more closely to, to best practice in, in order to reduce investment risk. And they're all perfectly valid things to do. Um, and as I said, you can, you can do more than one at, um, at the same time. Uh, but if you look at responsible investment strategies, they tend to be focused on one particular element more strongly than others. And um, our fund is overtly a sustainably themed fund. We have an investment universe that we've chosen um, of companies whose activities are contributing to making for a better world, a more, more environmentally sustainable, resource efficient global economy. Um, uh, and everything in our portfolio looks like that. Um, at the same time, we are also an ethical strategy because we don't invest in alcohol and gaming, tobacco, oil and gas exploration, all, all the sorts of areas that ethical investors would like to avoid. Um, but uh, when you look at it, a traditional sort of ethical portfolio, it's much more closely aligned with the traditional sort of global equity index or global equity portfolio just with those things um, removed. Um, in a really sort of simplistic sense, you could, you could say there's a set of strategies that are focused on investing in better companies. And, that, and that's really the ethical and ESG type strategies where you're looking at not investing in bad companies or investing in companies whose um, intrinsic sort of practices are better. And then there's, and then there's strategies that are focused on a, a better world rather than better companies. And that, that's where we position what we do. So how big's that market? It, um, it strikes me that there's a number of companies out there looking for that, but are they actually, uh, is a large universe that you're looking at? Well, it is surprisingly large. It's not very large if you look at the ASX and the, the opportunity set within Australia, but that really reflects the nature of our economy and the things that we're good at. And the fact that if you look at sustainable technologies around the world, most of the sort of supply chains or value chains for those industries are um, global and outside of Australia. Um, on a global basis, that's a pretty big opportunity set. So we have a um, investment universe of about a thousand stocks globally. It's about 15% of total global equity capitalization. That's about three or four times the size of the ASX. Uh, and, and that's a big, you know, well diversified global opportunity set um, for us to invest in. With the differing investments in this universe, do you have to look at valuing these companies differently to how we value traditional investments? The universe spans everything from um, smaller early and early stage businesses through to very large mature um, companies. And within our investment universe, we go from you know, a set of you know, small cap technology stocks in areas like you know, solar energy um, through to um, companies like Amazon and Microsoft. And that diversity is reflected in our um, fund as well. Um, we, we have holdings in some of those larger cap technology stocks. It's not a dominant part of what we do, um, but there are some great businesses like that whose activities are helping make the global economy more efficient. Um, uh, yeah, and then we get a really interesting set of sort of smaller and mid cap stocks um, doing you know, things that are um, more, much more specific in nature, making sustainable packaging, producing or selling organic food, um, you know, delivering components or systems uh, for, for renewable energy or building energy efficiency systems, things like that. 
uh, it's, a, it's a great variety. Lastly, do you have, have to look at valuing these companies any differently to what you would a normal equity valuation? Uh, no, uh, uh, we don't think so. Um, I guess our views about investment are grounded in a belief that over time markets tend to reflect the perceived economic value of businesses and they don't always do that and that gives opportunities for people like us to um, buy stocks that can outperform as, as their value is recognised um, over time. And so our approach is built around um, identifying and assessing um, uh, or identifying companies that can benefit from the way in which the, the world is likely to change uh, and assessing the economic profile of those businesses and coming up with our view about what they're worth and then being able to hopefully profit from buying them at prices where that's not or when that's not reflected. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for your time today, uh, Tom. It's a fantastic strategy. I think the global investment theme will continue to be a larger part of portfolios and the Nook's doing a fantastic job there. Thanks a lot. Great. Thank you.